Hi, Jerry Albright, National Platform Tennis Champion. Today in our one minute clinic, how do you handle someone that keeps giving you the waterfall? Here we go. So you hear a lot about the word, the waterfall. The waterfall is an overhead that bounces high and dies pretty much in the corner. And most people say at the club, oh, that's impossible to defend because they're here watching it die in the corner. Once you see someone's attempting the waterfall on you, you have two options. Move up and take it on the rise, which is dangerous, or get your body in the corner. Try and get close to getting it, because anytime you get your paddle on something, you got a shot. I always tell people, if they're beating you in the corner and you're not even getting your racket on it, you got no shot. If you're at least trying to dig and put that paddle on it, you got a shot. So I'm going against Nick here, and he's trying to give me these waterfalls. And sometimes I lose sight of it, but I know it's going to be in this area. So that's a really good one. And if you notice, I missed it, but that's what it required. That's how hard it was to dig these waterfalls out. You can't get these waterfalls if you just stand upright. When they're really good, you're going to have to really work on trying to defend it. Ooh, that was a tough one. So sometimes we kind of read it wrong or we're too far this way and we get turned around. That's a bad thing because now you're doing the waterfall this way. So when you have to defend it, you've also got to decide. you got to make last second adjustments. Sometimes I'm going to take it before. Sometimes I'm going to let it get in that corner. But you don't have options when you're here and watching it die into the corner. Now you're like, oh, what do I do there? And you're dead because you're not making the move. Right when you see that waterfall, get in there and you might be able to defend a couple. Get your body in that corner and you might be able to defend it. Get in. So if you move out too much and it turns, it gets you turned around or you're here, that's normally what happens. The ball dies in the corner and you're looking at it and you're like, how do I get that one? And it's usually because you're not backing up. You're still here, they're waterfalling it behind you and you're trying to scoop it back over your head and they continue to punish you with it. I really try to get into the corner as much as possible. So I'm always trying to get my body behind the shot. That's why I use this back screen, even on that one. And if he does it right, it's really good because he also makes me do a high backhand, which is a very difficult shot to control. Ah, that was a great one, Nick. And I was thinking on that one, I should have got it before it hit. Oh, you got it. Side back. There's a no screen. That's a tough one, Nick. Time's up. Thank you so much for watching the video and please do me a favor and subscribe and ring the bell. And my promise to you before I go is if you watch all these one minute clinics, you too can become a national champion. Well, maybe. Oh, you got it.